Every week I tell you what I think about the movies, but there's one film on which I'm going to be absolutely silent. Rajkumar Hirani's PK. PK is being presented by my husband. So for me, any conversation about this film is a conflict of interest. But it is one of the most awaited films of this year. I figured I should take advantage of my access and get Raju to share first thoughts with me. Raju, five years after Three Idiots, you're back in the spotlight again. Are you nervous? I'm always nervous. I'm perpetually nervous. <laughs> no <laughs> confidence after three super hits? I think whenever the film reaches release time, I still remember. I think the only film which I was not nervous was Muna by MBBS. Because there the sheer joy of making your first film was a high enough. Okay, you've done your film, your friends have seen it, your family has seen it, they've loved it, period. You never cared about what business will do, what people will say. But when the second one got ready, I was nervous like hell. I think this is, I thought Lagero Munna Bhai was the worst film I had ever made in my life. I, Are you serious? Yeah. And when Three Idiots released, apparently 10 days after the film released, I asked Baman, Baman, are you sure it's working or it's just an initial euphoria because Amir is there and people are... Are people liking the film? I don't think it's working. I thought it was a disaster. So... So you're generally a nervous type. No. <laughs> no, what happens is... Basically, because you're writing the film, you're shooting the film, you're also editing the film. And especially when a film takes that long, the jokes which made you laugh stop working by the time you reach the end. So then you kind of have You just to don't know. Uh, you have to depend on somebody else's judgment. It's working or not. So yes, I'm nervous. But uh, at the same time, I would say that uh, I think we made a very unusual film, which does make us proud. Whatever happens is, we'll see. <laughs> Let's do it, Raju. Ah, Please, unveil. I'm very embarrassed to do this. I've never done ribbon cuttings or... Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Unrobing. Unrobing literally. Are I said to cut to cut car de grave, huh? भाई चाने नहीं काम का अरे हम पीके हूं पीके इट्स अस्टाउंडिंग ओके एंड द थिंग इज द थिंग इज नोबडी इज गोइंग टू बिलीव मी व्हेन आई से दिस बट this film is such a well-kept secret that even I know nothing about this movie we know never talks about it i have no idea what you're making what your story is why is he naked where is he naked? He's not naked. More he's wearing a transistor. <laughs> no, he's more covered than a guy in the swimming pool. <laughs> and he's not naked. <laughs> he's more covered it, than anybody else. It's, it's fascinating. I've never seen him look like this. Yeah. And let me tell you, he's not photoshopped. Nothing. That's his real body. He actually used to get up at 3 in the morning. For that's a, his real body? That's his real body. That's his absolutely real that's body. That's really humiliating yeah. for the rest of us. <laughs> 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 so he would wake up at 3 and create this body? We had a 7 o'clock shoot, he would get up at 3, work out for 2 hours and then come for the shoot. So he did that constantly for the duration of the shoot and that's why I chose. But you're not going to tell me why he's naked? He's not naked. <laughs> why he's not <laughs> naked? <laughs> Who is he? What is he? You know, let that be a... Let that be a secret because it's always great to, you know, enter a film and not know. I still remember... Not know anything. Ha, I remember seeing Lagan and... Uh, I thought it was a film about some people in a village. And I entered the and suddenly I saw, oh, it's a film about cricket. So the high, it's the whole viewing experience becomes better, I feel so... When you don't why, know anything. Why, why tell him anything? Right now he's there. With Clothed this... to the transistor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you brought up Lagan. Lagan is actually the last time Amir worked with a director that he's worked with before. He doesn't do that very often. There are very few directors that he's actually repeated. And Lagan was 2001. Hmm. What is the secret of your collaboration? I don't think there's any secret. I think uh, Amir is a guy who completely, if he likes a script, he works. I don't think there are any... That's right, there's, uh -huh. there's no strategy. Yeah, so... After three years, this is a script I narrated to him. It wasn't a given that he would work with you after three not years? Not at all, not at all. In fact, uh, I remember the idea of PK came while we were finishing Three Idiots and I had bounced it to him. 
and uh, amir said uh, it's a damn good idea but i don't think we can pull it through it's a damn tough script to write so abhijat and me continued writing for a long stretch of time and when we went back to him uh we are an half later and he was completely surprised he said oh we could, you know, could pull through and then only he he wouldn't have signed it uh, uh, without hearing the script or without uh, he's a guy who signs only when he's happy when he's happy with the script that's it yeah yeah raju this question <coughs> is going to be put to you again and again hmm. going forward toward pk hmm. is the whole um hmm. figure three idiots held the record of being the most successful indian film ever for three and a half years Mm. after that every film that had that record had it for 2 mm. months 3 months and the next film came along mm. uh, it's a different world now how much performance pressure are you feeling see when you talk about nervousness that's what actually when i compare i look back and say somewhere because we've started talking money you're losing the joy of uh, how first film actually there was no pressure we were trying to make a film we still try to make a good film otherwise i would have made probably many films in this 5 years and uh, but somewhere you know that you are being judged with money a uh, money so which is uh, uh, i think we should find another parameter of judging people find footfalls at least you know how many people are actually going to watch that film that's a rather better parameter or or uh, that's a better to measure measure to ha huh, to judge a film so uh, because ticket rates keep going up uh, theaters keep increasing so you are judging a film okay itna business kiya i don't know that's not the right but you do really. feel it i'll honestly uh, 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 say yes we do feel the pressure that you want your film to do finally whenever you make a film you want people to see it so you want it to do well but again one is not really bowing down to the pressure of okay this is going to work so uh, you know i'm going to uh, uh, do something which you think is going to make it commercially successful you do what you feel is right this is still from your heart yeah it is it is it is despite you it's... being mr hirani <laughs> with the three blockbusters no it's something i've been the subject has been very close something been thinking for many years and we always want to do something but uh, i'm glad this is the fourth film uh, uh, as a first film would have been very tough to pull this through <laughs> raju your films make mm. all of us very happy mm. so what makes you happy finishing a film seeing it <laughs> on screen at the end you're like <laughs> yes done done finished that makes me happy <laughs> just finishing a film or actually watching viewers reacting to it yeah obviously actually the whole joy of uh, uh, see okay let me put it this way that uh, in the journey of making a film what i enjoy the most is the stage when i'm editing uh, between the three That's stages what your writing is as well. shooting and with writing such a writing is torturous it's it's the days the dark days when you don't get any ideas you know sitting and wondering whether you'll be able to pull the script shooting is you're working with you know 400 people on the sets editing is when you sit alone and you can see now your finally your film coming up is it more meditative it is it is very meditative i really really get lost in that world and uh, whenever i try to do meditation otherwise i can't focus but when i'm editing i'm only into the film yeah so that's <laughs> great this thing and of course finally when your film is uh, appreciated you definitely enjoy that yes thank you very much raju and all best for pk thank you that was the first look of pk watch the space for more Subscribe to the Film Companion YouTube channel now and get your film fix.